As regular viewers to Geek Girl Diaries will know, I've got a bit of a thing for Space Invaders, as you can see from my wall behind me. Space Invaders was an arcade game from the 1980s. It was very addictive. Not only is my wall adorned with them, but also I have little accessories like necklaces with Space Invader symbols on them. It's not just Space Invaders, I like lots of 8-bit pixel art. And that's got me thinking about, well, what is pixel art? Um, what are computer graphics? What are pixels? And how can I make my own? <laughs> In this tutorial we are going to program some pictures using Pygame and Python and I'm going to do that on my Raspberry Pi. Computer graphics are made out of little dots and we call these dots pixels and they're a bit like little tiny squares. They're arranged in rows and columns and the more squares you have in an image, the more pixels, the clearer the image will be. You're probably wondering why if they're made up of little squares, how is it that we get triangles or circles on the computer screen? Well, let's have a look at the triangle. Here you can see I've made a triangle out of four squares, but it doesn't really look that great as a triangle. Let's add some more squares. So now we're starting to see a better triangle shape, so let's add some more squares. Using lots of smaller squares gives better definition. The shape begins to look more like a triangle. If we only have a few squares in our image, then this is low resolution graphics. If we have lots of squares in our image, we have high resolution graphics. The more pixels, the better. And just to show you that dots can make beautiful artwork, let's use Google's art project to take a look at Surratt's paintings. Surratt used, it, Surratt used lots of tiny dots to make his pictures and paintings. This is one of his most famous paintings. It's a very, very large canvas. And if I zoom all the way in, thanks to Google's art project, you will be able to see the dots that the artist has used to make the grass and the lady's dress here. And you can see almost that there are lots of little tiny different colored dots. And if I zoom all the way in, it becomes much, much clearer, the paint effect that he has used to make this beautiful painting. And just as a side note, if you've never used Google's art project before, um, you can actually see this painting where it would be on the wall in the gallery using the street view. So I've never actually seen this painting in real life because it's in Chicago and I've never been to Chicago to see it. But um, thanks to Google, I get a beautiful view of the gallery in the room that it's actually situated in. You can see it's a very, very large picture. Imagine making that with lots of little tiny dots. OK, let's get busy making our own computer graphics. I have started with a piece of squared paper and I've just written the numbers 1 to 9 across the top and 1 to 6 going downwards. And then I'm colouring in the squares to make my Space Invader picture. I'm then going to use this as the basis for my code. And this could be a picture of anything, it doesn't have to be a Space Invader, it could be a heart shape or it could be a smiley face or it could be a star, but you must draw it in little squares first of all. And ta-da, here is my finished Space Invader picture, all ready for me to code. I'm going to use my Raspberry Pi to code my little Space Invader because it's got Python already installed. But don't worry, you don't need a Raspberry Pi, you can download Python onto a computer. I'm going to begin by opening Idle and then clicking on File and New Window to open the text editor. And my first line, I need to import the Pi game module to be able to create my computer graphic. Pygame is a set of Python modules designed for writing video games. It includes computer graphics libraries that we can use to make our pixel pictures. If you want to know more about Pygame, then there's a really great website, pygame.org, that gives you tutorials and lots of documentation to get you started making your own games. After we've imported the modules that we need, the next line is going to initialize Pygame. After that, we need to set the screen size I've set my screen size to be the exact size of my Space Invader when it's made. Next, I'm going to create some variables to label the colours in my drawing. I'm going to use red and white like I did in my hand drawing. I'm going to replicate that on the computer. You could have more than one colour here. It's up to you. Now for the fun bits. I get to make my drawing. We're actually going to use an array to make the picture. So start by labeling your array and then using the variables, I'm going to draw out each row. 
So the first row starts with a white square, then a white square, then five red squares, and then two white squares. And then the next row has two white, a red, a white, a red, a white, a red, a white, a white. And you can probably understand why it was a good idea to use variables here. It's also a good idea to have labelled your squared paper diagram with rows and um, columns. It's much easier to work out which square is a white one and which one is a red one. This next section of code will help us build our picture. Using the word enumerate in this for loop, we'll place our coloured blocks in order from the array. And here, I'm making sure that each square is roughly about 25 pixels by 25 pixels wide. The last section of our code makes sure that our graphic appears on the screen and then it stays on the screen. It'll also allow us to exit the application. Once you've had a quick check through of your code, we need to save it by clicking on file and save as. I'm going to name my picture.py because it's a Python file and then I'm going to run my module by clicking on run and run module. And success, there is my pixel art space invader graphic. And why stop there? I could create some really cool pixel art like this little Mario or maybe even the mushroom from Mario or some even cooler things like this. And here's a challenge for you. Once you've got one drawing, how about creating another one and then animating them? Here's a little bit of a sneak peek on how to do it. I hope you enjoyed that quick Python tutorial. Why not have a go at making some of your own pictures? All the notes from this video will be on my blog. I'll even put the code on GitHub if you are interested. All the links you require are in the description below. Take care. Remember, I'm just a mouse click away. Thank you.